Attention civilians, remain in your homes with the doors locked and the windows secured. If you do not comply with these instructions, the Army will not take responsibility for you being chewed on by Zen. Thank you, and by America. Take the road southeast out of town a little way. You'll see a dirt path on the left. Follow that all the way to the Barrett place. You can't miss it. A word of warning about the Wilkerson's, though. Now, I'm not saying they've ever murdered anyone in cold blood, but you might want to be on your best behavior with them. That's all. Sat there on the road, huh? We don't take kindly to unexpected guests. You can kindly fuck right off. Where's Doc Hansen? We need to get going. Doc says Eli ain't good to move. So we ain't moving. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a whole mess of them fuckers working their way over here. That's right, Mickey. So why don't we put our friend here to work? Fine, you hold his hand. Check on Eli. That's your call whether you want to help or be a pain in my ass. Because I'd be more than happy to nail you to a tree and use you as bait. All right, then. Let's get to work. When they come, there's going to be a lot of them. We need to set up defenses where we can, all right? Let's start by boarding up these here windows. There should be some scrap lumber in there that will serve. This is where we got to hold them. I guarantee you we don't want this thing turning into a room-to-room -room fight. Zombies ain't smart, but they never quit. They'll find their way in here if there's an opening. And if you give them enough time, they'll make one. Doc's upstairs looking after my little brother. Don't interrupt him. And don't you dare let these zombies get up the stairs. Here, take this. When we make our moonshine strong, should make decent enough firebombs. Yep, they're coming. It looks like we got a few minutes, though. Should still be some casks laying around the place, too. If you need something with a little bit more boom, put it around through one of those bad boys. Just don't be too close when you do. Coming up the road now. Better get ready.
Just about ought to do it. Eat that, you fucking piece of shit! We should check on Eli. Doc, what's the good word? I'm sorry, son. Did all I could. Oh, hell. God damn it! How long have we got, Doc? Before he turns. Minutes, maybe. Maybe soon. Unless... No. No way! We are gonna bury Eli. Proper. Bury it and it'll claw its way out. My brother's dead and gone, boy. What we're talking about here is a kindness. I'll do it. Doc, you can't ask me to do this. I, I promised Ma I'd take care of him. I'll do it. Better do it quick, then, before it starts to move. Better make these count. What's the sitch? I 
I need a breather. I'm out of ammo. Marcus didn't join us until pretty late in this whole thing, but right from the beginning he was one of us. He really cared, not just about surviving, but about doing the right thing. I wish I'd gotten to know him better. Hey you! See ya! God bless. How is he? The fever's lower than it was, but it still hasn't broken. Hey, do you ever look at the ceiling of this tent? It's, it's all, I'm the ceiling. I keep rain off you. <laughs> Good job, ceiling. The painkillers also seem to have taken effect. Let me take a look. You got them on antibiotics? As many as we can spare. Well, the good news is the wound hasn't become necrotic. Now, I'll keep an eye on him till the fever breaks, but uh, I think your friend is going to make it. Thanks, Doc. Thank a man for doing his job, it'll just go to his head. <laughs> Do I get a lollipop now? Hey, you. So long. I need a breather. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll see you soon. Okay, I'm free and clear. See you soon. I hope you brought me something pretty. Show you when I get there. Found this while I was out. Hmm, what you got? Oh, you know, some stuff. Hey, you. Bye. Hey, how are you? How you been? How's it going? <laughs>